of country. If you love your nation, you will never speak ill about that nation. Whatever may be the difficulties, you promote it well. You think of it. You think of the people. Permit me, but I, I, I'm extremely worried because within the country now, we have a hate revolution. When you, I, I don't, I'm no longer on the social media deliberately, although I was the father of social media because we actually brought the internet and things you know, when I was Minister of Information. But I'm now, in a way, the way people are using social media to destroy individuals, to destroy the nation, is absolutely unacceptable. It's very, very bad indeed. Because, you see, we can all work together and have a good reputation for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. One or two people can just destroy it. I'd like to therefore take this opportunity to really say God gave us Nigeria. Nigeria is a wonderful country. Nigeria is the only country you can be proud of as your own. Love this country. Speak well of it. Think well of it. And by the grace of God, we shall rise and move forward. But hate, to really hate your country is a very, very serious matter. And this program will not go anywhere if the people of Nigeria continue to do what we are doing now. Destroying the very basis of our existence. But I'd like to compliment that to say that the, 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 the government of the day, and I hope the Honorable Minister of Information is listening, is my very, very dear brother. He insists uh, I'm his uncle, yes, I'm his uncle, but I now say you are my brother because you are now, you've now taken over in the ministry. Actually, the same title I was given, the Minister of Information and National Orientation. I hope that this government would take very serious note that at the heart of national peace and security is the health of the national economy. The people of Nigeria cannot be happy unless they can be assured of food on the table and security of their lives. Therefore, I believe we, during the Obasan journey, we, we faced this very, very difficult time. And yet in that administration, many of you remember the kind of inflow of resources that came into this country. And also that in that same regime, we finished paying all our debts. We didn't owe anybody, anywhere. Therefore, we like just one, one thing. One of the easiest ways in which this administration can bring a lot into the national economy is to open the doors for very good investments to flow into Nigeria. There are too many gatekeepers that are keeping investments out. It's irresponsible, it's unacceptable, it's not good. And therefore, let all those who have been given the responsibility of welcoming people to invest here to kindly do so and protect their investments, protect their funds. Part of our integrity and reputation will be that we are good people that can be trusted. Because, you know, in the whole of Africa, Nigeria is the best place to grow your money. And therefore, investors want to come to Nigeria. But I'm publicly saying there are too many gatekeepers that hate the Federal Republic of Nigeria and are not allowing people to feel at home in bringing their resources here. One of the first things we want Nigerians to ask, so please, if you have a responsibility, kindly manage this economy so well that people will want to really invest here. Believe you me, an inflow of investment can come in very, very quickly. That would uh, improve the exchange rate. The exchange rate would affect all the relationships and prices. Believe me, the key is this exchange rate. Attack it, succeed in it, you see progress. The second is energy. The energy costs are too high. People are really suffering. Nigerians are really, really suffering. And we should. Because I'm speaking as a former minister of information. One of the things that information ministers must really realize is to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing 
but the truth. Therefore, we appeal to the government of the day that you should put their thinking caps together and find how we can bring energy, especially fuel costs, down. It will help us tremendously. I'm helping the reputation management group because if the government of the day were to do this and things were to happen, Nigerians would love their country. We will speak well of their country. We will dance for their country. We will relate for their country. We will move for their country. Finally, reputation, as all the good books, holy books are very, very confirmed, is very, very related to the thought. That, you know, the human brain is very powerful. And how you think is how you are. If you think evil, you will be evil. If you think good, you'll be good. Many Nigerians, you are thinking very, very badly. You have to transform your thoughts. When I was in Momsa, I adopted a program, Operation Excellence. And the passage of scripture that led me to do that was a, a Philippians 4.8. I love it very much. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good or if they are reputable, think about those things. Nigerians, you are the light of the world. Whether you like it or not, Nigerians, you are the light of the world. Your time has come. Therefore, Nigerians, together with NIPI, I want to say, Nigerians, rise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. I thank you very much. Check, check.